So in today's session, what we're going to take a look at is this idea of a warm-up, the changes that are lying ahead in education, and then we're going to take a look at some practical ideas. So that's what we're going to try to do over the next hour. I want you to brainstorm. What things do we take for granted now that we didn't used to use? For example, you might come up with things then and now. For example, then we use, I don't know, fax machines, which nowadays we don't use as much, and nowadays perhaps we use, I don't know, email. So things like this. So try to think of some examples of technology we use then. So whatever it is, tape recorder is fantastic. So let's see if we can get any more with then. Okay, so those are then and now. Okay, so cell phones we would think, I guess, is now. Smart boards now. Exactly, Judith, great point. Well, you used to use videos, VHS videos. Fantastic. Back, in, back then and nowadays, everyone's using sort of like Blu-ray and things like this. Very good. The digital boards, very, very good. So this was just to sort of take a look at how uh, our use of technology has changed over the last sort of year. So now, getting into the real substance of the talk, these two questions, what is etiquette and what is cyber etiquette? Online etiquette or netiquette. Very good. Good rules, ways of behaving and classifying, fantastic. Okay, so if we look here at the actual definition, we have here etiquette are sort of the customs or rules that we're supposed to follow in social life or official life. And as well as this sort of netiquette or digital etiquette is this idea of um, proper behavior in a computer network or electronic forum. So let's take a look here at what this whole idea of people bullying or cyberbullying is. So this idea between two minor children, as we talked about before, that if it's between adults, it's called harassment or other things. Uh, so when we use electronic devices, cell phones, computers, whatever it is, to Im intimidate, harass, or threaten. Uh, Again, we would hope that it doesn't get to the point where, you know, criminal charges have to be involved, but there have been many cases in the States, and I suppose it will start happening here, where um, there were serious, serious problems at the school uh, due to cyberbullying. Some advice you might give to students. Obviously, if they are being harassed, consider the source. You know, like, I mean, uh, they should, as, as in real life, uh, be aware of their own personal value and things like this. One of the recommendations was, of course, to ignore the behavior and to block the sender. This one, ignoring the behavior, you know, as in any situation with bullying, uh, quite often what the bullier is looking for is attention. And so being ignored and not getting a reaction can sometimes work. Uh, in the case of cyberbullying, of course, they can just block the sender. But very, very important, they should save the messages. Again, you know, tell them that if they have a problem, talk to someone. And if the case gets any more extreme, you know, the police might have to be involved. So again, talk to kids about what they can do to protect themselves and to protect others 